Hello, Fant Kamak here with Caldwell Banker Kane, and I'm here today to talk to you about Greenville, South Carolina. Um, if you're thinking about moving here, this could be a pretty informative video for you. I'm um, just going to give a quick overview, uh, talk about the employers, some activities to do, some of the universities here, um, and it's some restaurants. A lot of about downtown Greenville um, and again things to do down there as well as uh, a big project a 350 million dollar project that Greenville has just uh, completed a couple of months ago there's uh, some retail there as uh, well as um, some good restaurants anyway so we'll jump in right now um, some of the major employers here in Greenville uh, or one of the major ones is, is BMW. It's uh, one of the largest um, uh, automobile uh, companies in the world. Um, and I actually worked there for a couple of years, uh, first and, uh, and uh, second shift, which is uh, pretty, pretty rough on the body, honestly. But uh, if you're looking for a job moving here, uh, BMW is always hiring, and that place runs pretty much 24-7. Um, also, Michelin. Uh, you might have heard of them. They make, they make tires. Uh, they are a big operation here, another big employer uh, for the upstate. They've got several uh, different plants um, and offices uh, throughout Greenville and the upstate. Another big one is, is uh, GE. Uh, they make turbines. Uh, General Electric It's off Garlington Road is one of their, their big factories there. Um, yeah, another another big employer. Uh, also, we've got Hubble Lighting. Their headquarters is here. Um, don't know a ton about them, but uh, I know they're, they're a big employer. Let's see. Uh, Prisma Health, the hospital system, um, is, is another major one here. You know, doctors, nurses, administration folk, uh, er and everything in between uh, for the hospital. I do want to mention the two... Um, I know I'm running through this fairly quickly, but in the details section of the video, I'm going to post links to all uh, all the, the, the businesses and, and activities that I, I mentioned. So if you want more information, just click on the details and there'll be hyperlinks to, to give you more, uh, again, information and some nice pretty pictures and, and websites uh, from all these different places. Uh, if, you, if you're an outdoor person, uh, Greenville has lots uh, of, of things to do. Uh, one of the major ones uh, is the Swamp Rabbit Trail, which is a tra uh, biking, uh, running, you know, rollerblading, anything you can think of trail. Uh, that's It was 22 miles long. I know the city and the county that continually are expanding that trail, uh, but it runs basically from... Uh, downtown Greenville up to Traveler's Rest. I know there are plans to, again, expand it with, with uh, uh, different bridges. I believe some are going over uh, like 385 and or, or, or Haywood Road, which is a, is a big shopping area here in Greenville. Um, again, that's that's just a, that's a great trail um, to really get out. And it's, just, it's really pretty cool how you can, uh, you know, safely... You bike and run and, and uh, you know, with, with the family and kids on, on, a, on a trail throughout Greenville. It's, it's pretty it's pretty unique uh, and pretty cool. Uh, also, uh, Paris Mountain State Park is, is another little gem that Greenville has. It's only probably uh, 10, maybe 15 minutes from downtown Greenville. Uh, there's a, a little uh, clubhouse, if you will. Uh, there, um, there's also uh, a little waterfall. It's actually a dam, uh, but in a hiking trail and a pond. Uh, it's it's really fun, convenient thing to do on on the pretty days. It's it's pretty uh, busy. So if if you want to get there, because uh, uh, sometimes they they they, they do hit capacity, and so the the park ranger says no, you can't enter. So I would get there early um, or go on an off day. Uh, not not a weekend. You'll probably you know just less people because uh, Greenville is is a busy place. It's definitely changed um, uh, a lot in, in in the recent years with with uh, the population growth. Um, also, if uh, another outdoor activity, if you will, is is uh, baseball. 
Uh, there's a Greenville Greenville Drive is the minor league team. I'm not sure if it's Triple A or Double A team, but it's it's a great, uh, fairly inexpensive thing to do with the family. I think like t t tickets are like seven bucks, uh, so you're not you know, it's not really breaking the bank like a major league game uh, would. Um, so that's a lot of fun. That's pr pretty much downtown Greenville. Uh, the west, it's getting into the west side of Greenville. Uh, but a lot of fun. There's a ton of growth down there too. Lots of things to do. Um, let's see. There's also uh, the Shoeless Joe Jackson Museum. Uh, he was a he retired here in Greenville. Uh, lived here a bit. So there's a museum there uh, honoring him. Uh, there was a bit of a scandal uh, back in the day around that uh, baseball player. But if you if you care to know more, again, there's a museum about him. Also, we have a hockey team, the Swamp Rabbits. They play at the Bon Secours Wellness Arena, which used to be the Bilo Center. Um, and, uh, even, you know, so that's a place, uh, I'll just touch on it now, Bon Secours Wellness Arena. They host uh, things like, like wrestling and uh, the WWE, I, I believe it's called, or WWF. I don't even know anymore. Uh, also, you know, like Kenny Chesney, any, any of some of the big name concerts, I think it holds like 16,000 people. Uh, that's where the big, the big shows go. Saw Elton John there years ago, but, uh, lots of big events like that happen. Big, big stars at the Monster Course Wellness Arena. We also have a, a, um, soccer team now. I don't know much about the soccer team, but it's the Greenville Triumph, if you're a soccer fan, uh, again, all this, all this stuff will be, uh, there will be a, a link to the, to the, to their website and the show notes, if you will. Uh, moving right along, another activity in downtown Greenville is Fall for Greenville. It happens once a year. It's for, um, I believe about, I believe about three or four days, excuse me, and they shut down, uh, Main Street as well as the side streets, and there's, uh, about, over a hundred thousand people come there each year. So there are bands playing throughout uh, the day. On well, Saturday and Sunday are the big days. Friday, it might start off on Thursday too. Um, it's a lot of uh, it's a lot of fun. But also a, a bunch of uh, restaurants uh, serve food there. Um, so plenty of eating and drinking and and, a lot, and live music uh, for fall for Greenville. Another big one uh, we have each year is Artist Fear. So artists uh, who, who tour, you know, selling their, their um, not really products, but uh, their work, their, their pieces of art, whether it's sculptures, paintings, um, and everything in between. You know, you got people welding stuff and creating stuff with, you know, uh, different fire. It's, it's, it's quite, uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, I definitely appreciate the arts and what these artisans do and what they can create with their uh, you know, creativity, their, their gifts, their talents. So that's definitely one to check out is Artisphere. Again, that's once once a year. Um, another, uh, kind of moving to, towards like a restaurant, if you will. Uh, there's this cool new place. It's been there uh, probably two years now. It's called Gather Greenville. It's basically an outdoor um, food court. So they've got a sushi place, beer and wine place, um, hamburger, chicken. I believe they got some Italian, but that's a really uh, cool spot. It's very, uh, I don't say modern, but uh, it's, uh, their shipping containers is created out of shipping containers. Again, really cool place to be. And, and so basically you can feed the whole family there if, if, if no one can decide on what what they won't get to gather Greenville, and you should be able to uh, satisfy your uh, taste buds. Um, let's see. Okay, just kind of running, running through here, kind of shifting gears. Um, if you like to play golf, but don't want to get out in the links, we have a Top Golf. Uh, it's it's off of Pelham Road, uh, where you're kind of pushing into Greer, but people still call it uh, Greenville. Uh, but that is a lot of fun. You know, it, whether you play golf or not, just, just go in there and experiencing top golf. It, it never fails to, uh, have some laughs. Also, you know, they got good food and, and drink there. Um, 
if you want to visit here, don't know how to get here. Uh, if you don't know how to get here, uh, GSP, Greenville Spartanburg International Airport. That was a big deal back in the day when we got the uh, international uh, thing. But, uh, you know, lots lots of good flights come in and out of there. You can actually fly to Florida for very cheap on Allegiant Air. There's a direct flight to several different spots in Florida. A lot of times you get down there for under 100 bucks, which is pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, uh, moving right along in a downtown airport, if you if you fly yourself, uh, there's a, you know, F, FBO, downtown Greenville. Um, if, you're, if you're coming here for education, if you have uh, kids or if you want to, you know, educate yourself later on in life, we've got Furman University, which is just below Traveler's Rest. Uh, it's, a, it's a great, great um, uh, university. We used to go there a good little bit to experience... Uh, uh, beautiful grounds, but just to, to ride bikes out there and um, walk around. They have a pond there, and it's, it's a very uh, manicured um, place to visit, oh, uh, Furman. However, I will say with COVID, they, they shut down the uh, the gates. They closed the gates to the public, if you will. So I'm not sure if they've reopened it. Um, It'd be awesome if they did, but again, from a university and, and, and part of the Swamp Rabbit Trail, which I mentioned earlier, runs through Furman on the way up to Traveler's Rest. Um, we've also got Bob Jones, which is a Christian university. Uh, they've got a great uh, education system, too. You know, you, uh, uh, you can get uh, educated, be a nurse there, um, learn how to be a pilot there. There's so many different things, and, that, and, and Bob Jones runs from... Um, I think like kindergarten or pre preschool up to you know, college. So um, who else have we got here? Oh, and Bob Jones actually has a, uh, a great museum, lots of Christian artwork from um, hundreds, if not thousands of years ago. Um, lots of artifacts there. I'd say you know, hundreds, uh, but lot, lots of good stuff there. We also have a, a children's museum and Upcountry History Museum. Those are both located at downtown uh, Greenville. If you want to check those out. Um, and if you're looking to visit, uh, we've got some great hotels downtown and, and throughout Greenville. But if you wanted to be in kind of the heart of the city, um, we've got the, the uh, Weston Poinsett Hotel. That was one of the hotels that they revitalized years ago um, when, when Greenville was kind of uh, becoming a little hot spot, if you will, um, and really, you know, lots of outside investment coming to the city. So it was an old dilapidated building. I remember in high school, um, it, w it was just boarded up, but now so they've restored it to its former glory and beauty. Uh, the old Weston points uh, again downtown Greenville is right there on Main Street. Some of the newer um, places, a loft hotel. Uh, that's, a, that's a very nice spot, very modern inside, and that's convenient to lots of uh, little restaurants right around there. Uh, a new uh, restaurant, a uh, new hotel coming to downtown, uh, they're, they're in their final stages of completing uh, completion, Grand Bohemian. They, they're building it right there on the river, right by Falls Park. It's about a $75 million project, um, and it should be completed uh, in and in the next year or so, if not if not sooner. Again, the Grand Bohemian. Not exactly sure on my timeline, but it's a it's a big, uh, beautiful project. I know they'll have a spa, a, a, a restaurant, and a bar, among other things. And again, right down there, by Falls Park. Um, so I mentioned Falls Park. That's you know it's a staple of, of Greenville and the Liberty Bridge. Um, I referred to high school earlier. Again, that that was not there years ago, but uh, the you know city council and uh, some other forward-thinking people um, uh, had the idea to to build that bridge uh, over over uh, the river and over the falls, and and that's really been had a huge impact on Greenville and and the economic uh, you know, economic impact of the area, and not to mention just. It's just a really fun little place to go. Um, you know, it, it's beautiful. And Greenville does really, uh, the, the landscape, the landscaping people, buildings and grounds, or whoever you call them, they, they are always 
beautifying the city. They, they really do a great, great job. Um, right, right across, not, not too far from there, uh, is the Peace Center, which is a place where you can, um, they've got comedy shows there, they've got uh, Broadway shows there, um, and it's more intimate place than Bon Secure's Wellness Arena. Uh, I think this place seats maybe 2,500 or 4,500 um, guests. Um, anyway, I, I saw years and years ago there, old Carrot Top. Um, Jerry Seinfeld's actually been there. I did not know that at the time when he came to town. But, um, and, you know, Wicked. Um, big Broadway musical has, has been, and tons and tons of other uh, famous um, comedians and, and shows have been through there, again, at the Peace Center. Um, let's see. And a little more local, if you will, um, is, is the Children's Theater downtown Greenville. That's right over by Floor Field, where um, uh, the Greenville Drive plays baseball. Uh, it's a new... Um, New theater within like the last two years. Uh, a lady there who was very involved with the with the children's theater donated uh, upon her passing, um, basically prime real estate uh, to the children's theater. So they were able to um, get this really nice piece of land right there to build this modern, um, great building for for the children who who have a, a love of the arts and want to get out there on stage and 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 uh, learn that craft. Um, I really have gone through a lot of things. I, I want uh, a couple more things. Uh, I mentioned earlier the $350 million project is called the Camperdown Project. That was the former site of uh, uh, the Greenville News. That they, they tore that down and built uh, a new hotel um, there. There's also a couple of restaurants and a cookie place. There's a restaurant called Camp, C-A-M-P, Camp. Uh, people love it. I've personally never been, but the, the, the guy behind it is a, is a great restaurateur who's had a huge impact on Greenville. Uh, he, he's opened Sobeys, Sobeys on the side. Basically, Table 301, if you Google Table 301, you'll see a lot of his restaurants. Um, I know that he has sold off parts of his restaurants to his employees, uh, which is really cool in my, in my opinion. Uh, that a, a restaurateur can be that successful and, and look to pass on uh, that to, to some of the, the key employees who helped and get where he, where he is. And um, he, he started uh, also Sobeys, which was uh, another restaurant. It must have been like 20 years ago. That was a huge, uh, it, it was kind of a big deal uh, back in the day for that, that restaurant to be there. Um, he Again, he had... Robert Sobanaski or something, forget his name exactly, I can't pronounce it, but when he opened that restaurant, it uh, really, it was really one of the first uh, fine dining, I use that term loosely, but higher end restaurants in the downtown setting. Again, uh, Greenville today is not what it once was, uh, but there was that public par uh, private partnership with, with the city and local businesses. I'm not sure if, uh, about Sobeys. I don't know if any of that had anything to do with it, if there was any public-private uh, partnerships within that uh, deal, if you will. However, I know that a lot of the, uh, the success of Greenville and, and the development of downtown Greenville um, has been with good public-private uh, relationships uh, you know, make, making Greenville a, uh, one of the best places to live. Um, that really concludes uh, the video here. There's so much about Greenville to go, to go over. Uh, hopefully, I've, I've, I've given you a, a good overview of, of what's going on there. I, I really have tried. Um, if you have any questions, please comment below. If there's any video that you would like to see me create, I love the feedback. I'm really just trying to to give uh, you know y'all an over again an overview of, of Greenville, um, and if you like and subscribe, that that would be great too. But yeah, if you, if you just ask me any questions, I will do my best to to give you an answer. Um, and also, again, I've said it several times, but check the uh, details 
to get links to all the different um, uh, things I mentioned in the video. Again, Fan Cam at Caldwell Banker. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Really do appreciate it.